Hi guys, welcome to my yard tour, new property tour, a little bit of everything sort of thing. So everyone knows that I moved house last week and I think you've all been dying to see our new property. So yeah, today's the day that I'm going to show you where we are and what it looks like. So I'm going to start by heading up the field. There's our pretty little house behind us. I'm going to start by heading up the fields and showing you around there. Then I'm going to go to the stables and show you around the yard, introduce you to all the horses. And lastly, we're going to go down to the arenas. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. Just been for a lovely walk with the dogs around the fields. We're so, so lucky to have 20 odd acres to walk around all the way up behind me. So next thing we're gonna head down onto the yard. It is nearly time for evening stables, so the horses might be a little bit grumpy and whatever, but we'll see what they're like. And I'll introduce you to everyone. gates are currently locked so I'm just going to head round through the bottom of the yard and I will then walk back up to the other side of it and start with Benny who's over there. So this is the yard from the other end. Our muck truck goes there but it's just being emptied at the moment. And we've got our two lorries here. Um, the other end is that way and we'll go on to the yard. We've got a bit of hay there where Jaguar has thrown it out of his stable. Hello. So we're just going to this is our yard. I still can't believe I'm saying that it's mine, but yeah, here we are. So we're gonna start at the top of the yard and work our way back down. I'll explain what this is and yeah, I'll explain everything as we head up. So this is the top of the yard. They're the gates that you saw a minute ago. And then we've got a row of stables across the top. And then we've got our gorgeous Benny. Hello darling. So Benny has only been with me for three days. He is a rising seven year old, 16 hand, very handsome gelding. He's very green, not done much. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get going with him. If you, <laughs> hello darling. If you watch my recent YouTube video, you will find out a lot more about him. He's very cute, look at him. Ah, let me cheeky. So then we've got a few more stables. I've got a client's pony there. And then over here, hello sweetie. So in here we've got our poo picker and all of our gorgeous Aventus shavings are stacked. I am so grateful to Aventus for sending me almost 80 bags of shavings for when we moved. You can't see, but it goes quite far back. They're all stacked up nicely. I'm so, so grateful to Aventus for sending these all to me. You can see that it's still snowing really heavy. So here we have the stocks for when we scan mares in foal and they're very helpful at a stud yard. Saf and Olive. So here we've got Olive. There's Saf next to her. So Olive is a 14 year old 16 to mare. She has jumped up to 140s with me. She's a very special girl, aren't you? She's originally from the Billy Stud and yeah, she's, she's had some very famous riders on her back. Mum's here? <laughs> Good girl. So next one along we have Saf. You can hear Iris being a devil child. So Saf is 11 this year. She's only a little 16 hand there. She has also jumped up to 140s with me. She came to mine three and a half years ago 
as a complete novice and I've produced her since. I'm tired. Um, she's very, very special to me. I have so much love for her. So we have next got a spare stable at the moment. <laughs> and then we've got Iris. Um, you'll all know Iris. She is very, very special. I will add some photos of her here being she's disappeared because she's eating her hay. Opposite Iris, which let's face it, probably isn't the best place to have it, is our hay sash storage room. So we have hay for some horses and haylage for some of the other horses. Hi, Mum. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got gorgeous Bliss, who is in foal and she's due in June, which is very, very exciting. She is a homebred actually. We bred her eight years ago and she's a bit angry. And now she's having her own fault, which is, is very exciting. And last but by no means least, we've got Jaguar. He is my rising five-year-old 17-2 giant of a horse who has had a lot of fun playing in the snow today. So yeah, I haven't gone into too much detail about the horses, but I will do a <laughs> I will do a separate meet the horses video at some point. So that was just a brief introduction to all of them. So we head down here, we've got all our extra rooms here. We head down the track to the arenas. As you can see, they're currently covered in snow. So when it dries up again, I will do another yard tour, just a quick one included in one of my videos. So you can see what everywhere looks like without snow. So we've just got a couple of outbuildings here. And then here is our warm up arena. So this warm up arena is 40 by 40 meters so it's a lovely size it goes all the way across there right over to that green shed and up to the fence that you can see so it's a really really nice size and then behind it we've got extra fields and if you can see them that we use for um we can use them for warm-up for shows lorry parking and yeah possibly use them as arenas in the summer then we come down here we've got the toilets over there ready for shows when they eventually start and our really pretty little cottage of a house behind and we've got a couple of cars so this is the main arena it literally does not seem real that i'm saying this but yeah i am I, I, it's crazy so we've got some gorgeous benches along the long side so when shows start people can sit and watch their horses jump our judges box is over there. I'm not sure if it's locked, but I will head over on my way back and just show you what it looks like inside a judges box. We, we actually had the tractor out here sledging earlier. So that's why the arena's a little bit of a mess, but this arena is 40 by 70 meters. So it's absolutely massive. It's got a full course of jumps up. The dogs have come with me. It's got a full course of jumps up can jump anything we like and I am so excited to get training in this arena when the snow clears up. I can't wait to be able to bring you loads of content of training videos and shows and everything else. So while we're walking across the arena and you're having a good look, I've had a lot of questions from people asking one, where we're based. So we're based in Suffolk in Barry St Edmunds and secondly, a lot of people are asking if we're going to run shows. The answer to that is yes, we are. We're going to be running BS shows. We're also going to be doing unaffiliated show jumping, possibly some dressage. We're going to try and do some arena eventing and maybe even some showing shows. We're going to try and do as much as we can. I'll also be doing clinics and teaching along with schooling, sales livery and competition livery. So there's lots going on and it's very, very exciting. So here you can see it's all a bit frozen over at the moment, but this is our water splash. So you can fill this right up with water. There's a little cross country step there that you can jump off the step into the water. This is just slosh at the moment, absolute slosh. But you can fill this right up and it makes a beautiful water jump to use. So our land goes to the fence that you can see behind us. So this field as well can be used as a show jumping on grass arena. So I'm looking forward to be able to get some training in with the horses when it all dries up. So it's a lovely big space. We've got our pretty woodlands in the back behind our house, which are lovely. And then down there, you can see from this fence here in front of you all the way back is the car park. 
obviously everything is covered in snow at the moment so it all looks the same but from here backwards is our car park right down to our gates down there our gorgeous electric gates it goes all the way across there look literally doesn't seem real this it's, it's crazy every time i come down here i'm like this is a dream and i'm gonna wake up from this dream at some point but yeah it's incredible the dogs love it as well so i'm just gonna head back up through the arena and take you to the judges box and then yeah that's pretty much my yard tour over i didn't go into great detail on the yard i more wanted to show you all the facilities because at the moment our yard's a mess we've only been here five days i can't wait to get it up and running pack everything away and organize it and then i will do a proper full-on yard tour so yeah that's something to look forward to i have no to. idea if i mentioned this or not so i'm going to say it again our arena will be open for full hire as soon as lockdown restrictions ease um we'll be taking bookings over the phone so when we know more of what's going on we can we will advertise and you'll be able to book in to come and hire the arena i just love this view so much i'll never get bored of this view ever i hope you guys enjoyed my yard tour i know hundreds and thousands of you have been waiting for it keep getting messages and questions on instagram of when it's going to come out so yeah i hope you enjoy it please leave a like maybe a comment underneath subscribe to my channel and my next vlog is going to be my morning routine which will probably be out tomorrow so yeah keep an eye out for that thank you guys see you soon they say that I'm on the road Maybe I just lost control Nice, keep on taking control Find me out, yeah, I'm on my own